Hey guys, got two customer guns to go ahead and show you real quick. I'm just gonna go ahead and go over what's in them, on them, and I'm just gonna shoot them. So this is a GMP M4. Now the customer brought this in and to the Assault Airsoft uh, office and it just sounded awful um, when I fired it and I noticed the nozzle wasn't moving so I assumed it was the tappet plate broken. Now when I opened it up, the tappet plate was not connected to the nozzle. So whoever put this together did not put it together properly. Um, the shimming was awful. Um, there was the there was a sorba pad on the um, cylinder head, but they did not take teeth off of the piston for AOE correction. So it was like probably the grinding that I heard. Um, so I corrected everything, um, shimmed it, and it works beautifully. So first of all, we have a uh, some random flashlight. It's not too bright, but for indoor, um, you know, close quarters, it's good enough. Um, the rail, I'm not sure what rail it is, to be honest. I don't know if it's the stock one or not. It's painted over, so I don't, I, I can't see markings. There's Embus flip-up sights on the side. So I don't know why these are here. Um, I don't know if he had a red dot. Um, I don't know. It wasn't on here. The red dot wasn't on here. But if these were just up here, that would look much better. But, uh, whatever. Um... The body is GMP because I can, can kind of see the uh, logo underneath the paint. The paint job I like. I actually really like um, the lower. I like that a lot. There's an Ambi sling mount. A 3D printed crane stock. Troy pistol grip. There's a 9.6-1600 by GMP in here. It's Dean's. Inside of it we have an Ares hop-up unit with a GMP bucking and an Ares barrel. I told the customer if... He wants to get a 602 barrel by ZCI. The FPS would go up about 15. He said he'll consider it. I sent him a link. He said I'll probably go ahead and get one. Um, the nub in here is a flat hop nub. It's a uh, it's like an eraser. It actually hops really well. Stock GMP gearbox shell, cylinder head, O-ring metal nozzle, tap it, um, cylinder, SHS 1301s in here, no sector chip. There's a JG Red motor in here, um, a brand new JG Red that I put in there. Metal rack piston, I think it's Super Shooter. Um, Sorbo, AOE corrected, M100 spring, shoots 320, 315, 320 with a .2. Again, I said if he puts a 602 in there, he'd be getting uh, probably about 340 feet per second. And the spring is very weak in this. This is a very low stress build. Uh, rate of fire wise, it actually gets 22 BBs a second on this 9.6, which is pretty amazing for being a 9.6. So let's go ahead and shoot it. Trigger response is really good for being a stock JG motor. And there we are. So that is a uh, GMP M4. Number one, and then number two, GMP Stubby M4. Got SHS 1601 gears. Um, what metal rack piston? Aim, aim metal rack piston. Stock GMP 120 spring, stock ball bearing spring guide, stock gearbox shell, stock uh, cylinder, um, stock GMP hop up bucking and barrel. Um, there's a S Matrix Sonic motor in here, a Hulk Hulk FET. Um, it's just a standard 3034 MOSFET. Um, I think that's it. Sorbo. Um, yeah, so feet per second is 340 with a .2. Rate of fire is about 25, 26-ish BBs a second on an 11.1. Um, I told the, um, this is kind of, this is the owner of Assault Airsofts, and he sold it to a guy, and I told 
he, they have a motor in stock. It's the, uh, I think it's the, the Matrix um, High Torque. It's not the Magnum. Um, it's one of the newer ones. What do they call it? It's like the Tornado Series. I forget exactly. He has one in stock, so when I go to, I'm going to put it in because this MOSFET and battery heats up a lot with this high-speed motor. That's not, not good at all. Not with the MOSFET, so, because I don't want the MOSFET to blow. So I'm going to put that new barrel in here, or new uh, motor. So the rate of fire will go down, but the trigger response will definitely go up. And they want the rate of, or trigger response because um, this is for CQB, and CQB is semi auto only, so... You know, the trigger response is going to be pretty good with that motor. But for now, this is the one that's in here. Oh, there goes the battery. There's also no room for this battery in the, uh, let me put it in my armpit. This is 11.1, 15 to 25C. The semi actually already has pretty good trigger response, but it's gonna get better. Time to hop it down. Not down that much. The battery is already warm, and that was a mag. That is, and the battery is warm. It's not hot. It's warm, and that was a mag. So that is not good. The MOSFET's warm in there, so not good. That's why swapping the motor. The shimming's not bad at all. I opened this thing three times to reshim it, and the shimming is good. Um, but it's just the, the the motor draws a lot of power. High speed motors draw a lot of power, and I that's why I don't use high speed motors in general. Um, if you're using one, maybe like a 7.4 LiPo would be good, but not a fan of high-speed motors. So, again, the motor is going to be swapped in this to a high torque. Rate of fire will probably be about 20 within 11 and 1, and I guarantee you the the, the uh, heat is going to be a lot less. Because I did try a different motor in this. It was like a, actually two torque of the motor. It was a 32 TPA, and there was no heat on anything, but it was super, super slow. So, with a higher torque motor, there will be less heat more torque um so overall the performance will go up especially for cqb um so i'm gonna pop that motor in friday night when i get there um call it that so if you have any questions please comment below thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video um just two customer guns just shooting them gotta take these back again friday night but i'm gonna put uh, the new motor in here this old motor i don't know what they're gonna do with it but it's not a bad motor it's just I mean, high-speed motors with MOSFETs create a lot of heat. That's why, again, like I said, you know, a nice 7.4 LiPo um, and uh, no MOSFET in your gun with a uh, high-speed motor, not bad. I have, I've had two of those builds with, you know, nice 7.4 LiPos and high-speed motors, and they get 20 to 25 rounds a second, which is good enough. But, you know, it's not as much heat because there's no MOSFET to blow. Um, most of the time the motors heat up though, which is normal ish, but not that good. So thanks for watching though. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.